Dr. Baro, would you still say that Dr. Manmohan Singh is somebody you consider a friend? When was the last time you spoke to him? Well, I spoke to him on the phone. Recently? Uh, on his last birthday. I cannot use the word friend. I mean, he was your boss. He was my boss. He was uh, my mentor. Um, and ironically, <laughs> when I left the Prime Minister's office, you know, in uh, August 2008, he gave me a favour lunch to which he invited, you know, everybody, the Cabinet Secretary, Finance Secretary, RBI Governor, uh, Monte Galualia, uh, you know, a whole lot of people, including uh, K. Subramanyam. Uh, and at the end of the lunch, uh, he kind of gave a mini farewell speech in which I was quite taken aback when he said, uh, uh, Sanjay and I have been partners. Mm. Today you have people saying that he should have resigned when Rahul Gandhi tore up the ordinance. So that's what I said then. In fact, a very senior uh, person within the system said to me, I don't want to name the person, that oh, I would have got your job in the Prime Minister's office, but for the fact that once you wrote that book, Modi will never tolerate a journalist around him. Do you believe that you did not get uh, a second stint uh, in the government of UPA too because the Gandhis did not like you? The right. most controversial aspect of your book was the suggestion that you said should have been publicly known anyway that Sonia Gandhi had a key say in government policy. Well, that was because Arunab Goswami, our dear friend in the media, uh, chose to focus on that in the very first interview that he did with me on the day my book came out. And then that was deliberately picked up by the BJP and distorted to suggest that I had said files were shown to Sonia. And I had to immediately go on television later saying the book doesn't say it. So there was this complaint and clearly the complaint was uh, conveyed to the Prime Minister. So Manmohan Singh called me and said, look, why don't you go and explain to Sonia Gandhi? So I said to him, Sir, I'm here because of you. You gave me this job, so I'm here. I'm not because of you. So whatever explanation I have to give, I'll give it to you. I'm not meeting any second person to do it. If he had come back in 2009 to the Lok Sabha, As an elected? As an elected member of parliament. I tell you, history would have been different. The opposition stands firm and here I, I think the one hope for the opposition, frankly, uh, and I say this, I say this, uh, given my past views, was Bharat Jodo Yatra, which has given Rahul Gandhi a credibility that he did not have.